And we've got two, we've got the second and third place finishers today. Huge moments for both of these guys. Roger Steen, 21 meters for the first time. Yeah. Correct? Joshua Otunde, made of four of the world team. 2174, he's going to uh, to Serbia. Yep. Let's talk first, Roger. What's it like to break 21 meters? It was good, but I was talking to my uh, training partner, Kurt. We just knew it, was, we knew it was there, just had to trust the technique, and we came out when it needed to. How did you have the confidence to bang away against this amazing field? Well, it's really nice throwing to everybody, almost every big competition. I've thrown to Tunde I think six or seven times now. I've seen Ryan since 2016 throw the world record and everything else. So it's more of camaraderie than anything. You just have confidence in throwing with your friends. So it's easier to relax. Yeah. Joshua, how does it feel to make a, oh, this world team? It's huge. Man, it's been a goal for a long time. You know, I wanted to make the Tokyo, Tokyo team last year, and I fell short by four centimeters, which is tough. And that really motivated me this year to just come back and be prepared on my first throw, my first in the prelims, and that was huge. I think that carried me through the final. So did that help you relax a little bit? Oh yeah, absolutely. I knew I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait on anybody else to throw further than me. So huh? I just wanted to throw far as early as possible, just so I can like feed off of what everybody else is doing. Fantastic. You were throwing a little bit down the left foul line. Do you normally yeah, do that? I've been doing that for about two <laughs> years. Now. That time. <laughs> That's your sweet spot. Yeah, man. Uh, my first meet this year, I was actually fouling some left sector just because they were going so far left. Yeah, but yeah. as I'm getting used to competing, they're going a little bit more towards the middle, but not very much. All right. Yeah. What do you got to do to medal now in Serbia? I think having the same attitude as I have today, uh, just going in and getting it done early would probably be my best bet. Because those guys, you know, the Europeans, some of the uh, Pacific Islanders, man, they're just going to be a tough competition. So uh, I just got to get ready and go from throw one. Awesome. Yeah. Roger, what do you have to do to get in the top two in the, sometime soon? Just keep going what we're doing, get ready more for outdoor. And it's going to be exciting because there's four people that should be able to go to Worlds this year because we have their turn right. in the league camp. Right. It's, it's going to be fun outdoor. I'm excited. So you're confident you're ready to rumble? Yep. Ready to get outside. And Kirk is your training partner? Yep. Your, your beard is kind of wimpy compared to his? Right. He cut his now. It's what? not as big as it used to be. <laughs> but it's, yeah, I, I can't grow a beard like Kirk can. No, I don't think anybody can. Nah, you need it. Hey, you guys. Thank huge huge day for both of you. Congratulations and thanks, thanks for your time.